Hey gardeners. So coming at you from my guarded bed, uh, Lindsay here with the Mindful Living Movement. I'm sharing with you my absolute favorite tool for breaking up the soil in the springtime. And that is my broad fork. Now this thing is kind of a beast of a tool. As you can see, the tines on it are super crazy long, way more so than just a regular um, pitchfork or spade or anything like that would get down. And this thing is really an essential tool if you're doing a sort of modified no dig i.e you're not using a rototiller to flip your soil end over end it you can break up soil that's even a little bit frozen with it quite easily because of just simply using your body weight as you can see you just step right onto it and lean back and it does the work lift it up move it back and keep going through you can move through um, a pretty good sized garden bed quite quickly with it as well it looks like it might take a while but it really doesn't um, sometimes i go through my bed once a season sometimes i go through it twice just depending um, i it is something that i'll bring back in mid-season as well in between between. So if I am finishing off one crop, say I'm pulling all my carrots and I want to put in some spinach for a late season planting, I'll come back and just sort of break that little bit of middle area again. Um, so it's not necessarily just spring. It is something you can use all season around, but it is my favorite, favorite tool for spring working of the soil beds. And also because I can do it without it being a super, super labor intensive task. Um, our rototiller, which is what we used to use prior to this many years back, is kind of an old monster of a thing. I can't even get it to come to life. My husband has to use his sort of mechanical tinkerings to get it to work. And it's a monster. It would literally drive me around the garden, which is not very much fun. So I was very reliant on him always to help get my garden beds worked and that's not always doable um, with certain schedules. So this, this means that I can do it whenever I want, all season long if I need to, depending on how I'm rotating through crop after crop. Now, the another nice thing and why this is an essential tool for a modified no-dig type of a garden is because you're not flipping your so soil layers end over end. You're just simply pushing them down and breaking up and then you lift it back out and you move and you break and you keep working through to keep the microbial balance in your soil and just help it develop and get better and better, you don't wanna be flipping your layers over. So this allows you to do exactly that. And one of the reasons why I'll probably never go fully no dig, at least in this garden, is because of all of the trees and all of the roots and competition that tend to find their way into my garden bed. I like this because I can just sort of break up and do a little bit of work to sort of hold them back. So that's one of the reasons why I really love this tool. Um, you can order them online from a variety of different places. Sometimes you can even find them in your local greenhouse supply. That was not something that was available here. Um, and my husband's pretty handy, so he just kind of whipped one up for me. And I have to say, um, I'm really pleased with it. It's checked all the boxes. Um, it works exactly how I would like it to. And I, I do recommend, at least for if you're maybe someone like my size, um, the wood handles make it a little bit lighter, but having the metal base so that you can like really be able to bust through some of the tougher soils is a good idea. One of the things you need to be careful of when you are digging into more frozen soils is that you don't pull too hard on the wooden um, handles because you could actually break them. So you do sort of need to kind of moderate that a little bit, but we have even kind of bent the tines on the bottom of this working into frozen soil with Without busting the handles so they do stand up to quite a lot of abuse. Now the one other benefit to a modified no dig and not flipping soil end for end and disturbing all the microbes is that also you're not bringing up the weed seeds from the lower layers up to where the sun can get them. You're allowing them to just stay buried which is obviously very beneficial for gardeners. The less weeding that you have to do the better. For my full tutorial on all nine of my essential spring garden prep order of operations, check out um, the link video also in the description. And you can find out sort of where I put the broad fork in my order of operations for how I get my garden going in the springtime without it being overwhelming, without it being a tons of really hard work in a short period of time. Um, us gardeners, well, we got a lot of things going on in the spring. So the more you can spread it out, the more you can be 
be smart about how you prepare and get ready for you know the season the better um, I always like to try and make it a more gentle start to the season instead of it just being like all the things all the time. And if you really, really want to work with me closely over the summer, right from the beginning of the season all the way through to the end, you can check out my Grow Your Own Food Now gardening course. This is my flagship annual and perennial gardening course where you can work very closely with me as well as have access to a large video selection library of everything from very concise tips on what you can action even in more detail in your spring to make it easier start, all the way to plant specific details through to the end of the season when we're harvesting and how to put it all away quickly, efficiently, and so that it lasts you into the winter. Hope you have a great rest of the day gardeners. And if you found this video helpful, please hit the like button, consider subscribing so that you can tune in for even more videos just like this one. And we will see you again soon.